Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to automatically open the test automation results reports in the default browser of your machine after their generation. Okay. So whenever you generate the reports, okay, uh, let's say there is a project like this. And here I have written some sample code, guys. Okay, where I have created an object for the extent reports. I want to generate the extent reports. So I've created an object for the extent reports. Okay. So this is not the focus point, guys. Okay. So this will obviously generate a report. This code, whatever I have written here, will obviously generate a report for us. Which which reports? Extent reports. Okay. For that, we have to create an object for the extent reports, and then you know, uh, we have to specify the location okay this is the location where the report need to be generated this this will get the path of the project under the project an extent reports folder will be created at this moment if i refresh the project you see it does this project doesn't have extent reports folder under this project under the reports extent reports folder a report with the name e report.html need to be generated okay and here i am using one of the reporter of this extent report that is spark reporter and I am attaching this Spark reporter. Extent report has different type of reports to be used. Okay, few are paid and few, few are free. So Spark reporter is one of the free reporter of the extent reports for generating the reports. And the other steps I have to use for generating the extent reports are I need to attach this Spark reporter. Okay, using one of the predefined method of the extent report that is attached reporter. I need to attach this Spark reporter to the extent reports. And Finally, I need to flush the reports. Okay, then only the report will be generated under this specified location. Okay, under the extent reports folder, this e report.html with the uh, results of the extent reports. Okay, this will create a blank report, guys. Okay, don't expect any automation scripts being run now or something. Uh, this will generate a blank report. So, first, I will show you how to generate a blank report, and but you have to manually open the report by yourself, guys. Okay, to see the results of the reports, you have to manually open the report. Okay, I'll show you that first. Right click run as Java application. This is a main method. So main methods code will run and uh, it has run actually. Refresh the project once and you will see extent reports folder. As I mentioned, extent reports folder will be created here. Under that e report.html file will be generated. But how to see this report? How to manually right click, say open with and say web browser. Then only I can see this report. Yes, you see this blank extent report got opened. But my requirement is to automatically open the generated report here whatever the report that is generated i want to automatically open in the default browser set in your machine how to do that for that to happen guys for that automatic uh, okay i'll delete this folder again so i'll newly freshly generate this report after the report got generated here after this plus statement once the report got generated here under the extent reports folder i want to automatically open the report in the default browser i don't have to manually go right click open with browser and all those stuff for that, I have to say desktop. Okay. This from Java, guys. Okay. This is a predefined class from Java desktop dot get desktop. Okay. This is all coming from the Java library, Java from this package known as AWT, Java AWT package. Okay. This is a predefined class and it has a method get desktop. Then dot again, you will see something known as browse. Okay. And here I have to provide the URI. You can see here, right? Browse URI. How to provide the URI? Here, I don't have any URI. But this report is available in the form of a file, but it is expecting the URL kind of URI. Okay. So I'll convert this file into a URI. How file dot to URI like this I have to convert. Now this file will be converted to the URL kind of stuff that is URI and will be browsed and will be opened automatically by this line. Because of this line, this particular file will, this uh, report will open automatically in the default browser in your machine. Okay, I'm getting an error. Okay, hold the mouse, you'll get uh, it's asking you to implement the try catch block in real time. You have to implement the try catch block, or just for demonstration purpose, I don't want to make this uh, code complex, so I'm simply ignoring it. But in real time, you have to use try catch blocks better. Okay, now just by adding the single line, okay, so if I run this code, you will see that this generated report, extent report. Okay, which is going to generate here will be automatically opened in the browser without I have to go manually and open that from the project here. Okay, right click run. You see, automatically it will open when the script is run. You see, I didn't do anything. 
the report got automatically opened in the default browser in my machine. Okay. So here this is a blank report, guys. Okay. I am not serious about reports. Whatever the report that is generated in your automation scripts, guys, you can apply this technique to open that automatically in the browser after the test execution is completed. You don't have to go manually refresh the project and open the report uh, in a browser in a manual way. Rather, by adding this line from Java, you can actually uh, automatically open the report in the browser, default browser of your machine. So hope guys you understood this session. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye.